All right, this continues to be a big story around Detroit. It's talking about Jack Campbell um, and how he's not playing. Anna's only stepped up last week. He bounced back. But, you know, Derek Barnes has been even a bigger story. You can throw him in there, too. He's been fantastic. I mean, you got to remember with Derek Barnes, too, it was a transition from being an edge rusher to playing linebacker. That's a huge transition. Um, but I'll talk about Derek Barnes, too. He's been the, the highest-graded uh player on the Lions. I think I mean I think the Lions, the defense, or overall, but for sure on the defense he was the highest graded player um by Pro Football Focus. Um but you know I think it's it's time to allow it looked like Barnes might be here to stay. And it's time to allow Jack Campbell and Barnes to form a tandem. You know, Rodrigo's a good depth player. Anazoni could be a good depth player. And it was gonna be hard to give Anazoni three years what nineteen million dollar deal. And then you turn around and pop my neck. Sorry, my neck hurt. But you turn around and um, he played Jack Campbell. You remember they was, you know, they was calling Calvin, Calvin Shepard when they drafted Jack Campbell. They felt they was good in the linebacker room. It's time. It's time to throw Jack Campbell in there. He playing a couple percentage of the snaps. You might as well get him in the groove right now. You about to go through a stretch of football games where. It, it's not going to be as murderous. I think the murderous, the most murderous game you got coming coming up is uh is Baltimore playing Lamar Jackson, and, and they're trying to get, they're trying to get a feel for the offense already. So he ain't Lamar, Lamar, but you kind of want to get you know that's you know that's the game that's going to be really welcome to the NBA type game. But you know the way Jack Campbell was able to you know make tackles on. Um, you know, Desmond Ritter was very athletic. He's, he, I don't know why people say, well, he's not athletic enough. I just look, Anna's only athletic enough. And Jack Campbell, a better athlete than Anna's only, you know. And I think it's time to infuse that that size and athleticism in and those natural instincts that he got. And it's going to be hard to tell Anna's only to take a back seat to a kid like that, but just stay ready because he's going to have to take a back seat. Usually you be like, well, okay, we slide the kid in there at outside linebacker. We slide the kid at inside and put Anna's only at outside. But Derek Barnes playing so well that you can't really uh you can't really knock some you can't really knock one off of the you know out of there. But how Brian Branch is playing really well, how the defensive the tackles is keeping the linebackers clean by eating up a lot of space, stopping the run. The linebackers doing a great job. Derek Barnes is doing great at stuffing the run. You might as well allow Jack Campbell to get that experience now while you're going through a stretch. You know uh, Tampa and then got Chicago. I don't know who all coming up. But you're going through a stretch where it should be winnable. Let him get comfortable. Then you start going against the Lamar Jackson. You start going against Dallas. You know, he'd be more prepared for that. But you're not doing him a service by 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 you know you know putting your foot in the water first and getting used to the chill or you know what I'm saying you might as well throw him throw him in the deep end to allow him to float. Seem very mature. Seem athletic. Seem. I mean, you know, today's average. He's bigger than the average midside linebacker. He's six four. And he moves pretty well. He, his closing sack on Desmond Ritter was very impressive. Very impressive. So why not let him go out there, get that experience now in a stretch of games, which it shouldn't be the worst stretch of games ever, but let him go out there now, bump his head, and, and let him and Derek Barnes, you know, give you a new a new, a new uh, tandem with Spielman and Boyd. Give you that, Stephen Boyd and, and Chris Spielman. I think that was uh, his name. I like to get Stephen Boyd's name. Let them go out there and form that that camaraderie right now. It's gonna be hard to tell Anazoni that dude you gotta take a back seat to this kid, but you can't hold you can't continue to hold that talent back. I just don't think you can. You know, and you allow him and Barnes made it real hard too, because they probably was betting on Anazoni being an inside linebacker, you know, and Bar and Jack Campbell being an outside. But they was like, you know what? You know, Barnes is playing too well for us to slide Barnes up out of there. So let's keep, you know, <laughs> Let's make let's make Jack earn his spot, and I guarantee you, the competition between Jack and Anazoni it was it wasn't a lot of separation there. I guarantee you, it wasn't a bunch of separation there. You know, I think I think it's time to give it to Jack Campbell. I think he's earning. I don't want to say give it to him. I think he's earning it. You took him in the first round. You got Laporta balling. You got Branch balling. You got Jameer Gibbs. You're handing the keys over to him, even though it's word that Montgomery could be back this week, right? You're giving the keys to him. Okay, out of the four first, you know, first two round, you know, first and second round rookies you took, you're going to make that kid wait? 
when you know right now it's, it's not a big separation between him and him and him and him and Arizona. He needs to be out there playing. But, you know, to talk about Derrick Barnes, I mean, he's been fantastic. They ain't been too shabby at guarding tight ends. You know, Kyle Pitts had the most receptions he had all year this year, but he didn't get nothing but like 44 yards. And a lot of people said Ritter missing throws, and he didn't want to let it rip and this stuff of that nature. And, you know, it is what it is. They've done a, they've done a pretty good job in coverage. Um, he's done a good job of stopping the run. Coverage is starting to click. And when you go from an edge rusher to an every down linebacker, that's different. Off the edge, you know, you you rushing the passer 90, 95% of the times. And every now and again, they're going to drop you in coverage, drop you in the hook, or drop you in the flat. And that's just what it is. You are really, you're rarely probably going to be on a one-on-one in man coverage. Now, you in one-on-one on man coverage. You in zone coverage. You know, you got to drop. You got to read and react. You got to, you know, play the pass. You got to play the run. You know, so... You know, he, he's, you know, he seemed like he, he wanted to submit himself in that in that position right now. And people going to learn his name. He's a huge part of why they, you know, got better at stopping the run. And, uh, you know, him and Cam, Campbell might as well just start forming a line for him now, Barnes and Campbell. Start forming it now. Start getting that rapport together. Start getting that, that, that camaraderie. Start getting, you know, being that tandem, you know, in the second level and, and manning that unit. You feel bad for Rodrigo, but he a depth player, you know. Good guy to have behind you. Feel bad for Arizona. He signed a new contract. It is what it is. Get off the bench and be a starter, like Gucci Man said. But no, that's just how I look at it from that aspect, from that standpoint of view. And that uh um you know uh that's just how I look at it from that standpoint of view. But uh, they might as well just get the ball rolling. But that's just my personality, bro. I ain't gonna sit here and sulk and and procrastinate about, I'm going to get it done. You know, I'm going to get it done. You know, sometimes you sit and procrastinate, but once you, you know, once I sit there and say, you know what, it's time to work. It's got, you got to go to work. You gotta, sometimes I don't be feeling like doing these videos, getting up in the morning, but hey, you got to get to work. You know, before I go to bed, I be to work at eight. Before I get up, when I get up, you know, I do my routine, whatever, got to get the dogs together, but I start cutting videos when I get up. When I'm on break and lunch, I cut videos. So really ain't no break. It really ain't no break. I know I got to do the work, so I don't bitch and complain. So when I get home, all my work done. Unless I do a live stream or I want to do some additional stuff, all my shit done. You know, you got to get it done. You know, you tired of being fat? Go get, you know, figure it out. Go get it done. You know? You know, you want you need some more money? Hey, man, it's time to sleep. Let's go get it done. Let's think. So... It is what it is. Check out Detroit Lions Talk playlist. Thumbs up and video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Channel. Uh, and that subscribe button is the bell icon button. Check out Detroit Lions Talk playlist. More videos like this. Appreciate the love support. Hit the link tree. You can find me everywhere there. Peace.